Hello everyone, I'm Catherine, I'm the Access Officer for the Department of Physics at Oxford University and today we're going to be looking at question 4 from the PAT 2012 paper and that goes like this. Consider a square inside a circle of radius r as shown. What is the shaded area in terms of r? So let's first of all just mark r on this diagram so that we are super clear about what it is. So that is r there. So we want this shaded area and the way we can find the shaded part is if we find the area of the circle and we subtract the area of the square. So area of a circle, that much is easy. Uh, the area of the circle is going to be pi r squared. Straightforward enough. Then let's think about this square. So what have we got? We've got um, a square with, uh, so this distance here is r, and let's call this side length x. So if that side is x, obviously this is a square, then the area of r square is going to be x squared. And then what we need is a way to relate x to r. So let's, uh, let's sketch out just the top half of this, see what we've got. What we've got there is, uh, if that's x, that's x, and this on the bottom, so that's the center of our square and or circle, then that means that this length here is 2r. And obviously that is a right angle because uh, it's a square. This is half of a square. So what we've got is we've got a right angle triangle. We can use Pythagoras on it. Pythagoras, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, gives us that x squared plus x squared equals this length here squared, so that's 2r all squared. Uh, so that would be that 2x squared equals 4r squared, or x squared equals 2r squared. And we said already that the area of the square is x squared. So actually we can say that the area of the square is 2r squared. So the area of the square is 2r squared. We had the area of the circle as pi r squared. So the uh, shaded area is going to be given by the area of the circle minus the area of the square. So that is uh, a circle minus a square, which is pi r squared minus 2r squared. Uh, and let's just simplify that a little bit. We will have r squared pi minus 2. So once you can see how to split this up into the circle and the square, and then once you can spot how to relate the area of the square in terms of the side length to the length that we know, which is r, uh, it all falls out and it comes out as a nice, relatively straightforward answer. So there we go. I hope that was helpful and I hope you join us again for another one of these videos. Thanks everyone.